Hello students, welcome to Legacy IS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a recent statement that was made by Pakistan's Foreign Minister regarding resumption of trade ties with India. Now, how feasible or how possible it is given the stress or the tension that both countries face in the relationship, we will try to evaluate this in this particular video. Now, first of all, to give you the background that why this particular news had made the headlines. So, Muhammad Ishaq Dar, who is the Foreign Minister of Pakistan, he has said that his country, that is Pakistan, may seriously examine the question of resuming ties, trade ties specifically with India. However, today again, the Pakistan Foreign Ministry has said that there is no such uh, agenda or issues on the ministry's headlines. So, Pakistan basically, if we go back, it has stopped trading with India after the constitutional changes that were made few years back in 2018, especially regarding to the revocation of Article 370 in the Kashmir region. Now, like other aspects of Indo-Pak relationship, trade too has been impacted by the hardline approach shown by Pakistan and especially Pakistan's military on the Kashmir issue and as well as the support that Pakistani government as well as ISI has given to the terrorism which has created havoc many times in inside India. Now, the dire state of Pakistani economy, which it has been facing for past couple of years, however, has raised hopes that Pakistan might be willing to change its approach in overall reconfiguring its relationship with India, including resumption of the trade ties. Now, what is the reason behind such a comment that is coming from Pakistan's foreign minister? So, we can understand, first of all, as we just have talked about, the Pakistan's economic crisis is becoming much and much more deeper and is entrenching almost all other sectors of economy, all other sectors of Pakistan as well. As well as the negotiation that Pakistan is carrying out with the International Monetary Fund or IMF for the assistance package that it seeks also asks Pakistan to renormalize the trade ties with its neighbors and improve the overall macroeconomic parameters if it want to have the financial assistance. Second, the business community of Pakistan are also applying pressure on government because the Pakistani rupees is continuously weakening, import is becoming very very costly and thus renormalization or normalization of trade ties can help improve these parameters as well. Third, anyway if we talk about in practical sense, the trade between India and Pakistan is already going on. However, this trade does not happen directly across the borders of India-Pakistan but it is rerouted by third country and most of these trades take place via Dubai. This raises obviously the cost of the trade, obviously the logic of efficiency as well as the geographical positioning of these three countries tells us that resumption of direct trade will be more beneficial for Pakistan as well. And third, if we talk about the overall neighbors of Pakistan, it has boundary in the northwestern side with Afghanistan, Iran and then it has on the eastern side border of India. Now if you compare the border problems or the relationship of Pakistan with Afghanistan and Iran, both are very very stressed and both are very very tense in nature, especially since Iran and Pakistan has been at loggerheads related to the uh, area of Baluchistan. So all these three four major regions can convey us that, uh, that, that might have uh, conveyed the masses to Pakistan's foreign minister that such kind of renormalization of ties might be beneficial for Pakistan economy. However, resumption of trade ties it is not so easy. Because not only from the Pakistani military, but also internal political parties of Pakistan may not be willing to normalize ties with India. And in this context, we can understand the approach that was taken by the earlier foreign minister, who is also right now the PPP chairman, Bilawal Bhutto Jardari. He has taken a very hardline approach and issued a lot of public statements against India in last few years. So it is not clear if his party will support trading with India. Second, if we talk about even if political consensus is developed about resumption of trade ties, Pakistan military or Pakistan army we can say might not be willing to budge on this issue. And this context the Pakistan army chief General Syed Asim Munir, he has also not given any statement whether he is willing to or want to work on these areas. So it is not known where Pakistan army stands and without the clear guide and this clear approval given by Pakistan army, no such large scale changes can be made in Pakistan's foreign policy. Third, we talk about Pakistan initially has already put a precondition in India that if want to resume ta uh, talks, if India want to resume a uh, talk, then it demanded that India should reverse the decision on Article 370, which we know that is never going to happen. And last we can say India too would not want to trade without major steps from Pakistan, especially on curbing of terrorism. In this context, 
external affairs minister S. J. Sankar has said it many times that trade and terrorism cannot go together. So even if Pakistan is willing to resume trade with India, what kind of concessions India will ask is something that we also have to see. Now overall, if you look at the brief history of India-Pakistan trade ties, so as you can see from here, if you compare last 4-5 years of data, what we see that in 2018-19, that is a year before the revocation or abrogation of Article 370, the Pakistan-India export-import value is given here, which is positive. Now obviously, after this decision on Article 370, we can say there has been a negative change in the overall export and import between India and Pakistan, which continued till next year, that is 2020-2021. However, again from 21-22, we can see a positive change has happened in the trade volume, which has continued in 2022 also, especially in April-June, we can see the trading volume has increased many fold times, especially the import if you talk about. And overall, if you look at the basket of commodity that is being traded between India and Pakistan, sugar and pharma are the key engine exports to Pakistan, while tankers accounted for 98% of India's import. This is as per the Director, Director General of Commercial Intelligence and Statistics source that we have put. Now, why the decline has happened in overall India-Pakistan trade? If you go back to the history, even before 2019, it was the war that Pakistan waged, India, waged on India both in 1965 as well as in 1971. The trade links were largely cut off due to this region because the border security was given paramount importance and close borders and heavily militarized border obviously cannot basically facilitate any kind of trading. Thus, further, when India and Pakistan became member of SARC, that is South Asian Association uh, for uh, Regional Association for Cooperation. In 1993, SARC countries signed PTA, that is Preferential Trading Agreement. Here also Pakistan did not show any interest in trading with India. And it even demanded that India must resolve the Kashmir issue before the normalization of economic ties can happen. Next, during the 2014 SARC summit, member countries agreed to open borders to facilitate the movement of trucks and trains, but the Pakistan army here it is stepped in and again it basically asked to block the agreement especially as far as India Pakistan trade ties are concerned. Now even if we take the current statement the present statement given to Pakistan's foreign minister in positive light even if both countries or Pakistan agrees to renormalize ties how soon is it possible? Now obviously we have to look at the political situations in India as well. Now we know that in next few months we are having the Lok Sabha elections so we cannot expect anything to happen in this regard at least anything major cannot happen in this regard immediately between New Delhi and Islamabad. Second, all successful India-Pakistan negotiations have taken place in private and the next three months offer room for quiet diplomacy by the two sides. Third, one immediate step that Pakistan could take Pakistan could take to re, uh, to take a path on the renormalization will be to send its high commissioner back which it has called back earlier and obviously the major mediator in any kind of normalization of relationship between India and Pakistan will be the UAE that is United Arab Emirates. So UAE in particular has been encouraging the Pakistan to talk to India so how far they are becoming successful is also something that we'll have to see for. Reports have suggested that UAE has played a very important role, a major role in getting the two countries together in 2021. So in this case also it can play a very important role. Now even if resumption of time, uh, this bilateral trade happens, what are the benefits that we can understand might occur? So first of all, for Pakistan, obviously, it will make a much more greater sense because its economy is in a dire state and it needs urgently to reboot its economy and this it can, go, it can do in the partnership with India if trade ties are resumed. Second, Pakistan also has talked about granting MFN that is most favored nation status which lies as uh, which, which, which adheres to the guideline given by the World Trade Organization or it basically abides by the rule given by WTO. Third, we have to keep into uh, keep an eye out on the Pakistan army's overall stance on this because the Pakistan army has applied a break on the MFN approval that Pakistan government was willing to give. Third, traders in Punjab, we've talked about the Indian side, have also reported that they want to trade with Pakistan because they have a direct uh, international border with Pakistan and the volume of trade can be higher in these areas. Next, lowering the tension with Pakistan will surely be beneficial for India too. Obviously, the trade ties are resumed, but Pakistan does not appear ready to break with its past policy, especially as you discussed in the beginning about supporting directly or indirectly terrorism in India. And in this context, if Pakistan 
tries to break through from its past policies whenever it does india should be ready to reciprocate and then we can expect the trade ties to become normal thus overall what we can say in conclusion that right now ball about resumption of trading ties lies in pakistan court and there is no domestic consensus however on how to reset ties with india what we are seeing right now is just the statements given by the politicians also the problem is the trade with india makes economic sense for pakistan but the politics of doing the right thing are quite hard in pakistan so we'll have to wait and watch and see how this entire situation unfolds in the near future that is all for this particular video thank you very much